Nat gas markets gapped higher on Wednesday morning, breaching $2.90, the long-time resistance level. This uptick can be attributed to warmer weather conditions in populous states and the sustained heat in Texas, bolstering the natural gas market. Moreover, with winter on the horizon, LNG export facilities are preparing for heightened demand, offering stability to prices. Meteorologists predict the hot spell across the U.S. to persist until at least August 23. The southern regions will experience highs ranging from the upper 80s to 110s, while the northern areas will see showers with temperatures between the 70s and 80s. As high pressure builds up, the east is expected to heat up into the mid-80s to mid-90s over the weekend. Notably, despite the rising demand, there's an anticipation of a production plateau, hovering around 100 billion cubic feet daily till 2024, due to drilling capex cutbacks. On the export front, the latest data suggests an uptick in U.S. gas demand, forecasting it to jump from 101.8 to 105.2 billion cubic feet per day. Moreover, Chinese market sources anticipate that nat gas consumption in China will rise in the second half of 2023. This growth is attributed to factors such as warmer weather, lower international spot LNG prices, and a weak fourth quarter of 2022. The European gas market finally woke up, and prices jumped over 29% to more than €40 Euros per megawatt hour, the highest in two weeks, driven by concerns about dwindling LNG flows, which outweighed the fact that gas storage is at record levels. Gas flows into a major US export terminal dropped on Tuesday, suggesting a possible outage. Also, there's a risk that supply will be redirected to Asia in September, October, and November due to higher prices, and there might be less LNG available this month. Today's price behavior signals a completion of the current retracement bottom and opens the door to higher prices for nat gas. The 200-day moving average is significant resistance now as it covers a longer time frame. Overtaking $3 will signal the return of buyers, a sustained move over the $3 level should generate enough upside momentum and then look for a near-term rally into $3.20. Regardless, short-term dips should continue to be a buying opportunity, and I do think that eventually, cold weather will drive this market higher. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell. See you in the next video.